Hi, this is Numeric Citizen. Tags as we know them in applications like Notion or Apple Notes or Apple Reminders are still absent from Craft. A lot of users would like to see tags added in a future release of Craft. In today's video, I'm showing you how you can simulate tags for tagging your documents. Let's start. First, to understand how I'm using uh, Craft to tag documents, I have to explain what are backlinks. Backlinks are a major feature at the core experience of Craft. So let me explain with an example. So here I have a document which the, the title is, this is the source document. This will be another document. Uh, as soon as I'm, I select this option, it will create a new document. And then I'll be able to jump to that document. This is the final destination. As you can see at the bottom of this document, there is a link to this page. This is called the backlinks section. So I can show which document are pointing to this document. So this is the source document where I can click and come back to it. So this is the basis um, of my system for tagging documents. Now, let me explain what is a tag container uh, template. A tag container template is used to create a tag container document. So a tag container uh, document will be used for each occurrence of the tag I want to apply to uh, a, another document. So let me show you what's the content of a tag container document. I'll double click on that to edit it. So first there is a, a cover image to make things pretty, which is something important. Then this is the tag uh, uh, title that, that I will uh, change to the actual tag name and then the explanation of this specific tag use, usage. So that's the tag container template. Now let's say I want to create a new tag that will be applied to any documents in my craft environment. I'll call that, I'll call that tag demo. So I'll be using the template I just show you. This one and then the tag name will be demo. And then I can change the cover image to something from Unsplash. Let's say I'm bringing that image from Unsplash. So this is a new tag that I can apply to any documents in my environment. Now, this uh, document is unsorted and I'll bring that document in the uh, tag folder where all my tag document templates are being uh, stored. So now you can see that I have created a lot of uh, tag uh, documents for use anywhere I want uh, to use them. Now that I have a tag document, I can use it anywhere I want. So again, let's go back to craft. I have an article there and I want to tag this document. So I'll go at the bottom of it and then I can insert a uh, separator. Then I'll tag uh, this document. So I'll use the at sign. And when I start the first few letters of the tag, I can see all the tags I can apply to this document. So let's say I'm kind of uh, writing a, um, a uh, document about blogging so i can select this tag i can add another tag uh, let's say how to and by using a cover image for each uh, document representing a tag it makes things um, uh, pretty uh, to use so again i can use this and i can refer to every tag document i want and this way, this document, the blogger workflow as of 2020-05, um, has been tagged with two tags. Now let's see tag documents. 
I created a folder called tags where all the tag documents has been uh, grouped together. So it makes things easier to uh, um, look for things uh, within crafts. So this uh, folder contains a lot of tag documents. So I created, a f uh, I used the tag meta a few minutes ago. So if I click on that, you'll recognize the header of the tag document itself. And then if I go back at the bottom of the document, that's the backlink section. Those are all the documents who are using this specific tag called meta. So it's pretty easy to um, see which documents are using this specific tag. Now, the last thing I want to show you regarding the organization of my tag is that I created a tag a master index, which is available here. And then all the tags are grouped together in this uh, craft table. And then there is a, a few um, um, explanation or rules that I want to uh, uh, I'm trying to uh, follow in order to apply my tags to documents. Now, here are a few rules that I'm trying to follow uh, when uh, tagging my documents or working with my tag system. The first rule is um, each uh, tag uh, needs its own document container so that we can uh, use the backlink section at, at the bottom of the tag document. The rule number two is that not all documents need to be tagged, uh, only uh, the, the one that you, you're trying to kind of link together uh, around a, a specific theme. The third rule is that, that uh, tags come as another dimension or another way on top of folders to organize the content in your craft environment. So that's why I'm using tags. It kind of help organize my content besides organizing them with a folder. Rule number four, tags should help find information across my organization structure. So you can see that you can use folders to organize documents. You can use uh, tags at the documents level, and you can also uh, add tags to the page level. That's the rule number five. Uh, tags should go at the end of the document. This is a preference for me. I want to put the tags at the end of the document so they are not too prominent in the uh, content display for this specific document, but it's a matter of preference. Um, don't put tags directly into templates because each time you will create an instance from a template, then you will also uh, add a tag to this document. This is not something that you necessarily want. So just add tags after creating a document from a template. And then also, if you share a few documents uh, and that you allow, allow the, visitor, the visitors can follow block links, in the advanced option of a shared page. Watch out if you put tags in uh, your uh, document because user will be able to follow those links and the, the, this could lead to some privacy uh, issue. So don't put uh, tags in shared documents unless you know exactly what you are doing. So that's my rules uh, that I kind of tweak during the uh, recording of this session but uh, I'm pretty comfortable with those rules. Now, the question that you might have is, is this tagging system scalable? I mean, if you add more and more tag in, in your uh, tags inventory, uh, is this still workable? I think the answer is yes. The more you add tags, the more you'll increase the size of this table the more you'll have document uh, tag documents within this folder. And from within a specific tag, if I click on that and I go at the backlink section, uh, the more you'll get uh, references or backlinks to a tag uh, document. Uh, so I think it's pretty uh, scalable as a system. Um, I don't see any um, usability issues uh, with this tagging system. Now, the question is, what will happen when Craft finally introduce uh, support for tags? It's a good question. Um, I think I'll have to wait before um, deciding if this system that I showed you 
um, will be able to uh, stay in place or if I'll have to replace it with whatever uh, the craft team comes up with the support for tags. Um, it could also be that the tags introduced by uh, a future release of craft could be a complement to this actual organization that I showed you in this video. So who knows? I don't know. Uh, we'll see. But for now, uh, we don't have any date for when this uh, uh, support for tags will come. I don't have any inside information about that either. Um, but in the meantime, uh, I think it's a workable um, system for you to tag, uh, to tag your document. So I have created a lot of tags uh, for the purpose of organizing my uh, craft content. And as you can see from this page uh, from on the screen, uh, those are the tags that I'm using. Um, so I have a lot of them. And um, the, by using a, a cover image for each uh, tag document, uh, it makes things uh, look pretty. Make sure that you display the layout as a uh, regular tiles instead of uh, this one. I prefer to use this one. So that's the, uh, the general look of my tags that I'm using in Craft. So if you want to delete a tag and um, you don't want to uh, visit all the documents that has been using that tag, it's pretty simple. You just go to the uh, tags folder and you look at the tags that you want to delete. Just, just right click on it and then select delete. And then it will remove uh, the, the document, um, the tag document, and then all the references in the other documents that were using that tag. It's pretty simple, it's, it's fast and no problem with that. So that's it for this video about tags. I hope that you learn a few things about craft, or maybe you now have ideas on how you can organize your craft content using this system. So thanks for being there. If you like this video, I'll be happy. Don't, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel so you don't miss any new videos in the future. So thanks again for being there and watching. See you later, guys. Bye.